Hey guys, today is September 1st, today is Thursday, and I just went in for my 39 week appointment. And I've been having like contractions on and off, like cramping. And on Tuesday, I started losing my mucus plug, it started coming out in like pieces. So I've been losing it for a couple of days, so I don't think I've lost the whole thing, but definitely there's been like pieces of it um, coming out. So today I went in for my appointment. My doctor was like, oh, are you having contractions and pain? I was like, honestly, yes. She goes, I can tell in your face, like, you're done. I was like, I am. I'm so done. So she was like, first, let's check if baby is still head down, you know. No, I said, que se haya volteado de nuevo. So yeah, she did. She did an ultrasound, and he's still head down. So she was like, do you want me to check you to see if you're already in labor? Because that's probably why you're so uncomfortable. I was like, yeah, check me. And I have seen so many girls that do the membrane sweep like a week or two before they um, are due. I've never had a membrane sweep, but I heard very successful stories that after they had the membrane sweep, they go into labor. Um, so I asked my doctor, I was like, can you do a membrane sweep? Like, what's the worst that can happen? Like, I go into labor or I don't, and <laughs> that's it, you know? She's like, yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna check your cervix, see if you're dilated, and then I'll do the membrane sweep. I was like, okay. So a lot of girls were saying that it's super painful and super uncomfortable and it hurts a lot. So I was already prepared for the worst. I was like, okay, me va a doler, pero ni modo, me aguanto, pues ya que, verdad? So first she checked my cervix and I'm already two centimeters dilated and 60% effaced. So she was really surprised that I was two centimeters because you know, like my last birth was a, a C-section. So you're already two centimeters, that's good. That means you're making progress on your own. And she was now gonna do the membrane sweep. Mind you, I've never had one before in my last two pregnancies. So I was like prepared, you know, for like super painful experience. So when she did it, it just felt like the cervical check. It didn't really feel, I mean, it was uncomfortable and it was pretty quick. It was like less than 30 seconds and she was done. And then she's like, okay, it's done. I was like, that's it? She's like, yeah. She goes, you might start spotting. You might, um, your might, water might break now. You might um, go into labor or nothing could happen. So it's either you're going to go full on labor or nothing. She's like, every woman's body is different. I was like, okay, but I've been having like contractions here and there. So I was like, okay, maybe this is going to speed things up. So I asked you guys on Instagram, like, you know, if anyone's ever done it. Um, 98% of women said that they, after they got the membrane sweep, they went into labor within 12 to 24 hours. I was like, oh my God. Okay, so stuff can really, really escalate from now till tomorrow. So today's Thursday, September 1st. So let's see. And I'm already starting to get um, more contractions, a little bit more painful. Not like unbearable painful, but they're definitely different i'm like more out of breath but i'm gonna try to walk more I'll probably go walking today emma goes with her dad this weekend so i have to like make sure she's taken care of he's gonna pick her from school and all that and then my mom it is labor day weekend so it's also like um good that they don't have school monday it makes me more at ease that monday they don't have to miss school because there's no school and yeah, I just feel like I have to get my life together. I feel like I have 24 hours to do everything. Ahorita me puse a barrer. I started um, cooking chicken for Joseph in the air fryer. I feel like it's getting real. It's getting real. Whew. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick up Emma from school. Joseph's at the gym. I kind of wanted to spend a little bit of time with Emma before um, baby's here. I want to take her out to eat. Let her choose whatever she wants to eat after school right now. I think she's gonna want Chick-fil-A. But I'm gonna take her. I feel like I need that little bonding time before the next. We just week. picked up Emma, and I'm letting her choose what she wants for lunch. What do you want, Emma? Chick Fil A. Didn't I tell you I should only choose Chick Fil A? <laughs> Let's buy Chick Fil A. My favorite place. Are you excited for your brother to be here? Yes. Yeah. I can't wait to to kiss his little feet. Oh yeah. And they, they will smell so good. I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so it's the next day. It has been almost 24 hours since my membrane sweep and the cervical check. And yesterday sí me empezaron las contracciones like a little bit stronger than how I've been having them. But they weren't frequent enough for me to go to hospital. I was like, 
really thought that in the middle of the night I was gonna have to go to the hospital. So we literally have everything ready by the door, ready to go just in case, a car seat. Um, like Joseph went out to buy snacks yesterday, went to Target to walk around. But as soon as I went to sleep, my contraction stopped. Baby decided to go to sleep. He goes, let's try again tomorrow. So I had to and my contractions are back, but they're still not frequent or as painful as I think they should be. Mind you that this is, feels like my first real labor or first real like because the other two, I mean, the other two were real, but they were, with Emma, I got induced. So, you know, me provocaron todos los dolores, and they provoked everything. And then with Noah, well, he was in the emergency C-section, so I never got contractions either. I never labored at home. So I think I am in labor, but I'm in, like, the early stages of labor, where, like, you could be at two or three centimeters for, like, days. But then again, I can be here a whole other day or I cannot work either. So we're just like on the waiting game. My doctor said that if I have another appointment on Thursday, today's Friday. If by Thursday, like, you know, I'm not in labor still, she's going to do another membrane sweep if I want. And then if that still doesn't work, then I'll get induced. But hopefully, yeah, if I do feel like stuff is happening like my body does feel different just getting ready we're gonna just head to my mom's house and probably stay there because the hospital is by her house and i'm 45 minutes or an hour away from my hospital so if i do go into labor i don't want to be like almost giving birth in the car so i think it's just better just to um just head that way it's a weekend anyway so Si nos vamos a la casa de mi mamá y nos quedamos y en el hospital me queda más cerquita de su casa, me queda 15 minutos, pero de aquí me queda casi una hora. And I have little Noah here. Ah. Are you ready to meet your baby brother? Yeah. Should I go get him at the hospital? What are they going to do to me? They're going to cut my tummy? Yeah. Oh. You want me to bring your baby brother home? Yes? Yeah. I'll keep you guys updated. So this is a 24-hour update. Still, you know, not too many signs of labor. Just contractions that are not with a good frequency. So we'll see you in a few hours. We got a little bit of bed rest at our home. Now we're getting ready to go to my uh, suegra's house. We're going to go and uh, see the fam and meet up over there. Day weekend. I might go to labor and Labor Day weekend. So he's just going to the car seat. Just yeah, never ready. Yeah, my day ready. Your gummy? Yeah, my day ready. So I'm going to go hook it up right now. The car seat. Get everything settled in. We get to see him this weekend. This is the uh, one we're going to be taking for the babies coming home. It's uh, Nuna. We have the base right there. She's going to install the base. And this is the car seat. Imagine. In those days, there will be a baby here adentro. Girl, if I don't give birth after this, I don't know what to tell you. Catalina's loving this exercises. <laughs> you too? We got our reward for walking three times the stairs. Let me stairs. get a bite, Noah. Okay, ready? Aquí está mi mamá agua también. Now we left the mall y venimos a comer a famous salad that's here in Studio City que supuestamente makes you go into labor. I remember I ate it with when I was pregnant with Noah and I gave birth the next day, but no sé mm. si fue la ensalada. 
Or what? You ate it too, but nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened to me. But I ate it at 37 weeks, so yeah. I was so cool. I feel like I'm already in like free labor. Maybe it'll work. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. This is the restaurant. What's in here? It's an Italian restaurant. This one? No. <laughs> this one. It's a pizza cafe. So this is the ensalada famosa and I asked for extra dressing to see si, if si, it works. Do you think it's going to serve or not? Oh, that's well, good. Sí. Chat, 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 I just got a massage done. Um, I'll leave her Instagram right here if you guys want to book with her. She was so nice. And she also has a natal pillow where um, if you're pregnant, you're able to lay on your stomach because that's like a really big hole. Um, but yeah, she came to my mom's house. I got a massage done. And yeah, like I told you guys, we're going to be staying out here in the valley for si I have to go to the hospital I'm closer. But we actually came to my suegra's house because my mom's house, my mom has a full house right now. And we came to my suegra's house, so I'm actually walking on the treadmill. I'm wearing my sister-in-law's pajamas. I didn't even bring clothes because I thought I was going to go to the hospital. But whatever, we're working with what we have, so we're on the treadmill just walking um she did the massage she like massaged my hips a lot to try to like get them to like open up and stuff so hopefully that works and the salad and the membrane sweep something porque y aquí andamos en las últimas i don't even know anymore i'm not trying to force him out but you know i'm just doing like natural things to like make him come out porque ya es tiempo we're ready i'll give you guys an update Maybe later tonight or tomorrow morning, we'll see. If not, tomorrow morning we'll be going to Universal Studios with my grandma, my mom, and my tia. And that'll help me also walk around and stuff. So I'll keep you guys updated. So it's um, 12.30 in the morning. And I started getting contractions about every five minutes for the past like 30 minutes. But they're not. I decide 
So an update, it is like 6 in the morning. <laughs> me and my ya we went to get a cafe and McDonald's because I pues, no dormi toda la noche por andar con las contracciones, pero estaba esperando que me diera más fuerte, si nunca me dieron más fuerte. They're still very frequent. Digo, pues no aguantar lo más que pueda aquí en la casa para no estar en el hospital. Y luego se nació hasta mi cumpleaños. Ah, sí, a mí se cumpleaños. <risa> Ella es el 6 y ahora es el que tres. <laughs> so we're still here, pregnant. Uh, frequent, they're just not strong. I guess I'm waiting for them to be like unbearable, but I have a high pain tolerance, so I don't know. So it's a little bit later. Yeah, so it's 11.30 in the morning, and well, still very much pregnant. And like I told you guys earlier, my contractions are still there. They're just not strong. Like, I think they should be for me to go to the hospital. So, uh, my grandma really wanted to come to Universal Studios. Um, this is probably one of the last times, you know, she'll be flying out here. Y pues queremos pasar tiempo con mi abuelita y con mis tías que están aquí. My mom's two sisters are here, my dad's sister. And um, they wanted to come to Universal Studios. And I was like, you know what, it'll probably be good for me to go and walk more. So we're here at Universal Studios. Yeah, but imagine my water breaks in Universal Studios. <laughs> but we have everything here in the car, ready to go. I showered in the morning. And yeah, I mean, the rest of my mucus plug came out. So, I mean, that was a good sign. We're just waiting. A ver, cuando quiere salir este niño? It's gonna be pretty hot today. We will probably won't be here all day, nomás unas cuantas horas. Y pues. Yeah, the more walking I do, the better. He thought yeah, yesterday we were gonna go to the hospital. Yesterday, uh, I was up to like 2 in the morning because she kept getting in and out of bed. <laughs> and I was just like, dang, is now the time? Is now the time? Pero no salió el bebé. So now we're on day three. Wendy wanted to do the stairs here at Universal. She thought she was like Rocky Balboa or something. <laughs> oh yeah, because there's the escalators. I was like, maybe I could do the stairs. But I honestly, I'm so tired because I didn't sleep last night. I just feel like exhausted. I was literally up every single hour. I was uncomfortable. I would stand up, sit up, lay down. So I'm just like yeah, ahorita, tired. Ahorita is like 100 and like two degrees and it's only 1130. Yeah. So we're just gonna go for a little bit. We're gonna probably hit up the tram ride. Um, probably do a little bit of walking, you know, for, for baby. Pero nos vamos a ir temprano porque it's too, too hot. hot. Way yeah. too hot, you know? And uh, yeah, we'll take you guys along to Universal Studios. I don't know, after the membrane sweep, I got my massage done yesterday, I ate the salad, I've been walking, so it's just up to him at this point. I got really feel like I did everything to, I could do. Up to me or up to Noah? No, uh, it's up to, uh, the baby. it's up to the baby at this super comfortable and cozy in there. And you know, pues no quiere salir ahorita. A ver cuando se le ocurre salir. But I'll see you guys later. Katy to say where we go. ¿A dónde vamos, Katy? ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde vamos? ¿Allá? ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde? ¿Allá? ¡Vamos, vamos! ¡Let's go! Ya tenemos todo el squad aquí. Tenemos baby, la abuela, las tías, todo de ahí atrás. We're gonna go meet up with my parents and have some lunch. It is too dang hot for my woman to be walking around. 
But yeah, we'll see you guys uh, for some late lunch, early dinner. Quería como comer algo fresh, Wendy. We came to a place uh, donde tienen como sushi rolls. Um, obviously, she's not gonna eat the raw fish or raw sushi stuff. So, we're gonna order her something that she can eat. But I'm gonna get me some some sushi. You know, because it's too hot. I want something fresh. There's a sushi, but I can't eat this because it's raw. So, I ordered a tempura. But that's like cooked. This is mine. It's the cooked one. No, it has training chopsticks. Wow. Good job. Well, we made it to Sunday morning eat. Still, no baby. <laughs> I just, at this point, I can't help but to feel a little bit defeated. Okay, I've done everything I possibly could do naturally to help baby come out but no quiere este niño he is too comfortable and at this point it is what it is I honestly thought he was gonna come Friday Saturday and he could still come later today but I'm just <laughs> I'm just I don't know I had zero contractions last night zero like, how do I go from having them every five minutes the night before to the next night? Zero. So congested, too, because it's been so hot. And I'm inside with the AC, and it's, like, messing me up. I spend the whole weekend with me and no baby yet. So I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, my due date is on Thursday. So at this point, we're just going to make it to our due date or past it you know but i did lose my mucus plug completely yesterday because it came out in like a really big chunks like three times instead of coming out in like little pieces how it's been it came out como gelatina like three times like big big chunks so i'm sure it's all out now so that's a good sign but other than that no more contractions today uh, just waiting for him to decide when he wants to come out. I thought since it's my third baby, you know, things would be a little bit faster, but I no. Yesterday I walked a lot in Universal Studios, and we got back, and then in the night I walked a little bit more. And the thing, I feel like my face is starting to swell up to like. My lips and my nose. I was having chando. If you guys enjoyed this video, coming along with us this weekend. And stay tuned. I hope the next one is a baby vlog, but we'll see. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Be subscribed to our channel. And give this video a thumbs up.